Hey there, we're Crystal and Eric, corporate remote workers, Airbnb photographers, and now full-time van lifers. We like traveling off the beaten path and finding hidden gems along the way. If you like that too, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more. And come along with us today as we post a video every day for our first 30 days in the van. It's raining, so you need a hat, you know? Exactly, rain hat. Rain hat. That, that's what the kids are doing these days. They're doing rain a rain hats. hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard on TikTok. <laughs> Well, these fellow kids just spent their first night out of Harvest House. And it went really well. Oh, it was actually really nice. It was some of the best sleep we've gotten. And we have been driveway parking and oh, there's a bird right on the window. Oh, that was amazing. I don't amazing. think I got it on camera, but that was a really pretty bird. Just a cardinal landed right on the side <laughs> here. That's wonderful. The bad boy of birding is back, baby. Oh. I'm breaking out the knocks. We are the ones who knock. The monocular is, this is super hot take, monocular superior to the binocular have as many opticals twice as much fun let's go so yeah we got a really good night's sleep That's last <laughs> night we've been street parking driveway parking last night we had a really safe and secure spot at the harvest host on some flat land off the back road but it just felt very secure very safe very private and there was no one around so it was really nice and i understand that this might not be typical of other places but there was a picnic table on site mm -hmm. for us to use and a porta potty for us to dump anything that we needed to dump so that was really really convenient and it was just awesome we checked out of that this morning because with harvest host you stay in each location they have their own maximums but usually they're one night maximum so 24 hours and that one was a 24 hour so we left this morning we went got coffee and we actually went to our next harvest host and we are at our next one now which is a little bit more interesting than the last one and we gotta go check it out let's go let's go i just i just warned you about hitting your head well look who <laughs> hot meat kettle black or whatever it's the hat, I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> How gorgeous is that place? Oh my God. I don't expect every Harvest host to be like this or look like this, but it's really setting the bar so high. I am just blown away. We're at Bed and Borders Garden Center and it is one of the nicest places I've ever seen. It's just filled with beautiful flowers. It's hosted by the wonderful Louisa. It has an amazing variety of plants grown here on site. And animals. She's raising butterflies. There's hummingbirds that are attracted to all of the plants. They have a resident pup and the newest addition as of three days ago, baby bunnies. <laughs> got to hold we literally got to hold them oh my god it's like a dream come true <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not familiar with harvest host essentially what it is is a service that you pay for annually it's actually pretty affordable when you consider the cost of campsites and other things like that and you don't have to pay a nightly rate but they do encourage you to support the local business that you are staying at they are providing you a safe space to stay so if you're at a restaurant or a bar go in and buy a few drinks or a meal or if you're at a place like this just to go in and support however else you can. And Eric found two massive jars of honey. This is gonna be like a year supply of honey. Our family's gonna love it. And it's <laughs> grown locally right here next to the garden center. She said just over the hedge. Oh, he's back. I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, he's right there. <laughs> that's so cool. And the bun, the ah! bun is here too. Yes, that's amazing. Do you see what we're talking about? <laughs> This place has been a dream. Harvest Host so far has been absolutely amazing. And something else we like about Harvest Host in general is that the interface of the app actually comes with reviews. So it's like Airbnb in that way that after you stay, you get to rate a place. Was it flat? Did it have good facilities? Does it have a really amazing host? These are all things that have been really important for us to know as van life beginners. So it's been really cool and really comfortable to have these great experiences off the bat because booking a campsite has not been that same great experience. I honestly hate this. Like this is the worst process I have ever seen for anything in my entire life. 
And the strongly suggested patronage yeah. is about $20 when taken into consideration not that much especially when you're getting something of value for that money whether it be food or in our case amazing local honey and you get to support a local business so yeah. for us it's a win-win-win and that twenty dollars might be surprising if any of you are in europe because we know that you can free camp a lot in europe that is just not the case here in the states i think free camping gets a little more plentiful when you're out west but as native east coasters you are not gonna find really any campsites for free that are also safe and legal so we really enjoy this option because of the part of the country that we're in and like you said twenty dollars is really I'm happy to pay it to support a local business it's not like you're staying at McDonald's and stuff like that like these are people who you want to support all right we have way too much going on with this beautiful wildlife surrounding us <laughs> we're gonna get out of here like this video subscribe for more we have a lot more van life content coming mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next one we'll see you tomorrow bye Bye, bun. Good night. It's a Seahawk. Like the football team? Osprey. Yes, it's called. Yeah. It, yes. <laughs> yes. It is that. Yeah, that's cool. And it killed something. Nice. R.I.P. But still, very cool. <laughs>